and City Governor Paul Sparkop clarified that while the law has been passed and set for implementation next month, Buai trading will be allowed within the city boundaries in selected marketplaces until Buai markets at Laloki and Ruby Rogo village are completed. And I have a starts with basic hygiene, basic health care. Without health and hygiene standard being high, every money and millions that we have in the world will amount to nothing. Will amount to nothing. Huh? We can make money with boy, we can make millions with boy, but if our health and hygiene is low, the money that we get from boy amounts to nothing. It's negated and it's a minus because of the you know, bad habits that we have. Temporary wholesale markets will take place at three locations only, Hohola, Gerahu Stage 4 and Hanwabada Village. Temporary retail markets will occur at eight different locations, Erima, Six Mile, Tokarara, Sabama, Talai Gorobe and three of the wholesale markets. These areas have been endorsed by the NCDC board. Penalties for trading buai outside of these areas will result in the seller being arrested and charged. Governor Pakop said Motu Koitabu villages are not immune to the new law as well as police, defense and correctional services barracks. The NCD Bitulnat Control Law 2013 gives NCDC powers to prohibit the sale of buai in residential areas and public transport systems such as PMVs and taxis. Offending motorists who are caught chewing and spitting out of a moving vehicle will be charged and arrested accordingly. As per the law, any person trading buai in a public place, including selling and chewing, littering buai spittle or skin, will be fined no more than 300 kina. Failure to do so will result in a two to six hour community service. For the owner, operator or agent of any motor vehicle, dinghy, canoe, used to transport buai into NCD above the allowed limit, the penalty is 1,000 kina. Any airline or shipping operator or company that transports buai into NCD will be fined 9,500 kina. Any operator, owner or agent who owns, manages or leases any commercial premises and allows buai chewing will be fined 5,000 kina. In announcing the penalties, Governor Pakob declared Waigani Police Station as a temporary lockup for those in breach of the law and will serve as a location to resolve matters under the Bitlenut Control Law.